camera back because I know you guys can't see. Since he's chosen that place. Good. Good. So we're getting the word good for staying on the floor. Now we're going to wait for him to get bored again. He's making great decisions. So I'm going to do stuff with my hands. You know, pretend like we're looking at the phone. Mm, that's not seeming to do anything. Now look at the remote control. Look at that. He is doing so good. Oh, bring my hands up. Touch. Yes. So I'm using touch as giving him something to do rather than something not to do. Good. Yes. And we got a yes for sitting down. That was great. More like laying down. So we've got the off working. So I'm going to just put my hands here. He likes to lick those. Good. He's making an excellent decision. I'm going to throw a treat away. I'll kind of restart him. When they have to go away and come back, it's much harder than just staying and maintaining. Off. Yes. Good boy. I'm also going to give him attention because that's what he really wants, right? Yeah, that's why you're really licking. Yeah. Off. Yes. Oh, look at that. He was in the middle of licking me and let me go. Wow, what a good boy. Yes. Good job. You are so smart. Good. And we're going to make it harder. I'm going to put a treat in my hand. Off. Good. We're getting a good. We're staying away. Good. This is really hard for him. And then we're going to restart it. Off. Good. And he licked my hand a couple of times, but he didn't actually get the treat. Good. So I'll go for little wins. Eventually, good. I'm not going to want him to go for it at all. Oops. You can have that. I like to say, oops, when I drop something on the floor, he can have it. <laughs> Off. Now I'm going to close my hand. We'll try again. Off. Good. <laughs> Good. I love that little head throwing bag. That is funny. Now we're going to make it super hard. And I'm going to put it up here on my lap because he really likes to get up on laps. He's not doing it. He really wants to. Touch. I'm going to try the touch game. Yes! Why did I do that? Well, he was jumping up on my lap and then decided to sit down. I don't want him to think that what I'm asking for is for him to jump on me, then sit down. So he didn't get rewarded for that. I made him do something else and then gave him a reward for that, so that was for the touch. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the exact same thing that I was doing before, my same body language, and see if I can catch him before he jumps up. Now, see, now he's being really naughty. Touch. Yes. So I'm going to ask him to do something. Good. Okay, now we're going to try repeating that body language we did. So I'm going to just put my hands up on my lap. And not paying any attention. Good boy, puppet. Good job. I'll give puppet a lot of attention. That seems to really get him going. Good. You see that? He decided not to jump up. That is what I want to reward. You're better off catching rewards or behaviors that you want to reward rather than waiting for him to do something wrong and then have to deal with it. Good. Much better off at catching him when he's being good and rewarding him for doing the right thing. Good job. I'm going to restart him. Good. Did you see that? What a smart boy. Good boy. So I'm going to get on the floor and I'm going to give him lots of love. What a good job. What a job well done.